so you're looking to learn on Pluralsight, but you're on the fence about it. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at my account and show you an overview of the platform. Let's go! When you're not a member, this is the page that you're going to see when you go to Pluralsight. And it has all sorts of things, uh, popular courses, more courses, features, uh, if you're a business or an individual. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, now at the bottom of the page, it will show you $29 a month or $299 annually. So it's a pretty good deal. You get unlimited access to the courses and all the exercise files. You can either choose a free trial, which is 10 days or 200 minutes. Very important there, 200 minutes. I could burn through that, uh, no problem. But let's go ahead and sign in here and I will show you what you get when you go ahead and do that. So here we are at the homepage. You can see the last course that you took, additional resources, um, exercise files, all that stuff there. You can see your course history here and then bookmarks, anything that you've had bookmarked for courses, different paths that you've taken. And we're going to talk more about paths in a minute. Uh, related courses or recommended courses, excuse me. Uh, HTML5 web component fundamentals looks uh, pretty good. I know a lot about that. All these different things from newest courses, uh, shotgun review fundamentals. Hmm, that looks kind of cool. Uh, but you know, this is the home page here. Let's go ahead and check out search. All you have to do is click here and type in what you're looking for. ES6, for example, and it will auto populate with some examples. Go ahead and click there and you can see all the different uh, resources that they have. Let's go ahead and access the course to see what's in there. You can see there's a table of contents, description, transcript, exercise files, discussion, you get the idea. When we go ahead and open up one of these, it will take us to a different window right here and it will buffer that out and you can see all the different courses and how far you've come. It's a really good player. It didn't used to be so good, but now they've really improved upon it. So hats off to you, Pluralsight. Let's go ahead and check out the profile here. So when you click on this, it will take you to your profile and you can see the different subjects that you've been working on. I haven't been on Pluralsight a lot, to be honest, uh, because I've been working more with Udemy and a lot of books uh, for Node.js. Uh, I have taken some of their courses here, but I needed to get really specific. You can see all the different days. See, it's been quite a while since I've used them, only five days, but I still pay for the subscription. It really is that good, guys. Uh, it will tell you the time of day that you're active. Usually it was around here, even though I haven't used it that much, like I said but uh, they helped out a ton. You can see all the courses that you're currently learning and that's pretty much it. That's what I use this for. Interests that I have, video editing, graphic design, design patterns, JavaScript. But really when I'm on Pluralsight, it's mostly like coding, not so much the design. But for a while there, that was all I was doing and I used Pluralsight to do that. So something to think about. And when you go ahead and go on the left, this menu will pull out and you can see you have home, browse, feed. Let's go ahead and go over those. Browse. You have all the different types of categories here. It's pretty cool. You can just go in there and see what you'd like. Let's go ahead and go back to the feed. Now feed is recommended for you. Sorry guys, you got it wrong. I'm more about that React Yo uh, skill assessment based on graphic design. Hmm, that's interesting. And then you can have your favorite authors here. Pretty cool stuff. My favorite section though is right here. It's called the paths. And if you take a look, it has all these different paths that you can take to learn a specific skill whether it be JavaScript, jQuery, what have you. There are a bunch, as you can see, just scrolling down from, uh, you know, IT, comp security, uh, container management, you get the idea. And I've done a ton of them, not just on this, uh, but I used to have a different account that I lost. And then you can go ahead and test yourself. So, you know, I am 183% proficient. You can go ahead and take a test there and they assess you and put it based on everyone else's stuff but you can see all the different types of um, courses they have. And this isn't like a true course like Treehouse. It's more like they took the courses that they have that people have put up and then compiled them into a path. So it's not as good, it's not as fluid, but it is still you know worth doing. I really like the paths the way that they're set up. I went ahead and when I did this, I just passed right through it so I didn't have to do any of this. And you see, you can improve your score. It shows you how much you improved by. It's pretty cool. Paths, highly recommend it. Uh, great way to go ahead and learn, especially if you already have some familiarity with the topic that you're going through. If you go through the paths, it's going to be it's going to be nice. Now there's mentors, which is actually a really cool program they have. You can go ahead and get someone to do stuff with you. As you can see, it's uh, kind of pricey, not too bad, two dollars a minute. So if you had them for like an hour, what that's. 60 minutes, uh, you do the math, $120. So yeah, it can get kind of pricey there, but when you have a project or you're, you have something that you just can't figure out, it's totally worth it to go ahead and hire some of these guys, especially if they're qualified. 
like think about this a dollar a minute i don't know what he's good at it looks like power shell and stuff but uh you can get someone that has your specific question or your specific skill set that you're looking for and help you out when i was doing um one of my uh, udacity react degrees I had a helping hands or I had a mentor do this for me and um, walk me through it and explain some of the stuff that was going wrong he used a debugger it was really nice to see that stuff and see how people can go ahead and edit code moving on here's channels these are basically things that you've set up like bookmarks kind of and you can go ahead and put different things in here I put all sorts of stuff here but I haven't looked at them because I'm busy at work and I can't really do these and when I'm at home I'm doing react so you know I've got to go ahead and put those on the back burner bookmarks kind of like channels you just go ahead and put a bookmark there and you can have all these different courses that you have there uh, notes I have never used this section to be honest it looks kind of new so this is a general overview you can have more stuff here you can see all the different types of plans you can even become an author which would be really cool something I wish I could do maybe in a year or two I will go ahead and author my own course they do have mobile so I've done it on my iPad it works pretty good there uh, no complaints so I recommend you highly check them out if you have any questions as always let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time